Welcome to Film My Run, my name's Stephen. Uh, here we are at Kinloch Laven in Scotland. Uh, we're here for the Skyline Scotland weekend. And now it's the first VK runners starting. We've already had the Ring of Steel uh, Golden Trail Series race started. Uh, that went off earlier today and we're expecting the runners back in a couple of hours. And uh, the VK runners are off on their one kilometre vertical journey uphill. So the Ring of Steel has uh, pretty much finished, the VK has finished, it's Saturday afternoon and we're heading to race registration for tomorrow's Ben Nevis Ultra. It's uh, coming up to half past seven on Sunday morning. Quite nervous now. The thing is, having having already done the CMD arete, which is the kind of the, the ridge between uh, Kermore Deg and Ben Nevis, which is the kind of airy arete that we have to traverse. Having already done that once, I, I know what's coming, and I'm that's making me frightened already. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. But there we are. It's a, it's a bit rainy, very cloudy, no wind. So we'll see what happens. So Glencoe Skyline is off and running. These are the big guys. These, these guys know what they're doing. Uh, so in order to do that race, you need to be um, vetted by the organisers um, or they don't, they don't let you in basically. And I, I, of all the races that I've done, I'm not qualified to do that race. Um, some serious uh, climbing in that. <laughs> right, three minutes to go to the start. Why are we here again? We didn't make it last time. What makes me think I'm gonna make this again? Tight cutoffs, a little bit of scariness, um, and it's dark and it's wet, but you know, what the hell? Let's enjoy ourselves.
Right, so here we are, 10K into the Ben Nevis Ultra. One hour, 44 minutes. And uh, I'm doing okay. I do feel like lots of people are passing me, which is a bit disconcerting, but I feel like I'm running all right. So um, we'll see how it goes. Fifteen kilometres in, two and a half hours. Now we climb Ben Nevis. Very steep climb. So big drop down there. Big drop down there. But this is actually not too bad. This section. It's, uh, it's when we get to the actual arete that it gets a little bit hairy. But this bit, I seem to remember, isn't too bad. Okay, so we've made it to the top of Carmel Deg, CMD. Um, 20 kilometers in four and a quarter hours. So um, we've got about two and three quarter hours to get across the CM, uh, CMD Arete and up to the top of Venice and down the other side of it. Fingers crossed we can do that. You can't see much I'm afraid, but uh, yeah. This is the CMD Arete. Basically just a massive boulder field. Okay, so this is the top of Ben Nevis. We've made it to the summit. And I think, I think we've got enough time to get in, in the cutoff. Right, so you can't do a race to the top of Ben Nevis without actually coming to the, the summit, so that, that is the top. And now we've got an hour and a half to get back down. Thank you guys. Cheers, thank you. So this is the view coming down. Ben Nevis once we've got under the clouds again. So we're out of the clouds, it's a, a beautiful day down here. There's Halfway Lake, so that lake there means we are halfway down the descent. Uh, we've got about an hour and 15 minutes left to get down before cutoff, so we should easily make it, he says confidently. with my mouth full. Uh, last year we didn't make it here in time. This year, 20 minutes early, that's good. So we can carry on, can't we? So we've got about 40 minutes to get to the next checkpoint, which closes at quarter past four. It's now 15.35. And then once we've hit that checkpoint and we're clear, then we can look forward to actually finishing the race. Beautiful. So we've got about a kilometer to go to the next check. Point.
How far to the next checkpoint? Oh, what, what to the next one? Okay. Oh, blimey. I thought we were near the next checkpoint. Oh well. here and didn't make it by a minute and a half two minutes and we've got like 10k to go there's about 30 of us here now we're all absolutely well to be honest pissed off is is the word really pissed off because we've got four hours do I sound do I sound annoyed we've got four hours to get home and it's 10k okay it's a bit of a climb but we've done that before we're all experienced ultra runners here you know we can do 1300 meters of climb in under four hours easily but they have to impose a cut off at some point so we haven't made it so there's a few of us here look that's all <laughs> what's your name john right john is particularly fed up that's uh, the time on my garment i'm ahead each oh. one hour that's it that's an absolute bastard I had that, that lower falls, the guy's like, oh, you've got 3k, and I was like, you've got 2, you've got 2, you've got 2, you've got 1, you've got 2, you've got 1, yeah. you've got 2, you've got 1, 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 you have got 1 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 he said he finished at 12 and a half hours. See, they should say to you now, listen, you're not going to get a time, but if you want to carry on and get your medal, that's you it. can get it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a very good point. What they should say, John's just said, they, sh they should let you carry on from here, get over the finish line, you get, you get a medal, but you, know, you don't get an official result. Fair enough. Just to give you like the glory of crossing the line or just like feel like you've accomplished something. Sitting here now, we feel like we've all failed and like, and we're left in the middle of nowhere. We've got to trudge back now to get the bus back. Just, it just feels really frustrating. Beautiful view. So this is kind of the area of steel falls, low, lower steel falls and higher falls. So we're basically just, we're walking back to the road where we can get a shuttle bus back to start line finish line, start line. Um, even more pissed off than last year. Uh, so here we are on the start line as they're packing away on a Monday morning. It's the day after the disaster that was yesterday. It wasn't a disaster, it was just one of those things. I guess partly partly my fault, uh, you know, I should, have, I should have known exactly what was required. Like the year before, a little bit of complacency maybe I knew that I had to get down to Fort William off Ben Nevis by 3 p.m. I knew that and I managed that. I didn't know how far it was to that aid station or that, that checkpoint uh, at quarter past four. I knew I had to get there by quarter past four. I didn't know exactly how far it was. 
and on the route we kept getting told different things so it made it tough but now I know exactly what we have to do to finish the Ben Nevis Ultra I know exactly how far it is from Fort William at the aid station at Fort William at the bottom of Ben Nevis to uh, the river at Steel Falls I know exactly how far it is it's 12 kilometers and I haven't you have an hour and a quarter if you if you manage to get to uh, the aid station at the bottom of Ben Nevis by 3 p.m. cutoff time you you only have an hour and a quarter to do those 12 kilometers so the idea is to get down off Ben Nevis as quickly as you possibly can giving yourself as much time as possible and then don't dawdle at the aid station I did that a bit yesterday I spent about 10 minutes at the aid station getting food and, and relaxing and I should have just got what I needed quickly and left lessons learned for next time I, I'm still gutted about yesterday still a little bit annoyed about yesterday but um, I'm not feeling quite as despondent as I was yesterday afternoon so uh, I know that I'm coming back next year well as long as I can get a place I know I'm coming back and I know exactly what I need to do to finish so there we are that's it uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching uh, shame we didn't do the last hill uh, but we'll do it next year Take care from Film My Run. See you for another adventure next time. Bye-bye.